depends where? Yeah, I think it depends on the area and like what time it is. During the day, yeah. yeah. Not always, no. I'd say most of the times I do because of like the way I carry myself, but like deep down I am kind of scared. At night, especially. Not all the time, no. No. I, when I was really young, I did a little bit, but I'm trying to look though. No, not really. Running away. No. <laughs> Once a week. I moved here a year ago. Um, it happens, but not as often as Belgium. All the time. Not necessarily cat called, but literally every day there's like something. Most days. I would say in the winter not as much but quite often in the summer like there's always often like at least one guy per week and it's not great it's happened twice not good obviously degraded mm -hmm. yeah like obviously quite demeaning just quite scared and also like more and more just angry <laughs> more so than scared <laughs> like annoyed um, but it's something kind of normal or normalized, like since I'm a kid, so I don't know. I, I do speak up sometimes, but not it, It's so, I kind of feel disgusting about it because the person looks at me in that way um, and it just makes me feel really awkward and unsafe because I'm uncomfortable, definitely. I let my flatmates know where I'll be. Yeah, and avoiding eye contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Like, or do you like take like the keys with you? Just hold them one to the Oh yeah, when you're go yeah, when I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I put yeah. them in my, in my pocket. Yeah. I guess if you're wearing something short, I'd take a number. So me and my sister are proper on it because there's been a few incidents. Um, so we always have our locations shared. I tell her like what journeys I'm taking and we say I'll be back at this time and if I'm not back at the time we'll start calling and being like where are you? I have two phones on me and that's about it. Sometimes when I go like out out I bring this like thing that if you pull it screams. 100%. Um, I bring perfume with me because sometimes you need to spray that in the guy's eyes in case. Um, I have an umbrella. I have sharp pencils in my bag because you never know when you need those. And I always have my keys in my hand when it's late at night. Just make sure that I have things like keys or anything just to protect myself or like a spray sometimes um, just so I can use it in case. It's like educating and letting people know about the issues we are truly facing. It's not, it's not the streets problem, it's the matter is they need to like educate people better and teach them because shit happens in daylight or with people around, it doesn't make a difference, you need to teach people from the get go to make a difference. I feel like that one's a difficult question to answer but if only it were easy to educate a lot of I guess both men and women to obviously have their own like moral standards when going out but I feel that guys in general would probably need a bit more of an insight as to how it is to be like a female late at night. I'd probably not care what I would be wearing. Like wear whatever I want. I think I would go on a walk like in a in a park, like yeah. go on a place that's like very scary usually. But like, yeah. Oh, yes, at night I avoid all parks. Like I never walk into a park, even if they're like. Yeah. But yeah, it's like I wish I could go on walk at night because it's quite a nice time to just like it's very yeah, yeah. 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 That's not possible. Oh my god, I would leave, just leave the house where wherever I wanted, I'd just go to the shop, you know, <laughs> without like running and being afraid. I would feel so free without having to have that constant worry inside in the back of my mind thinking someone might come and attack me because the men can't win all the time.